Shame, Shame that, that tune. Before we begin, I thought I might share a recent Facebook post of yours in which you promote our show, you promote some other shows, and most importantly, you promote yourself. Uh, two, two days ago, you posted the following, <clears throat> quote, I'm doing a ton of shows this month, so you have pretty much no excuse not to see me, unless, of course, you were trapped under your precariously stacked 100-year-old collection of Chicago tributes. Shame that tune, the God, Sex, and Death show, Guts and Glory, Right Club, an essay, Fiesta. You're, Keith, you're obviously on a massive coast-to-coast -coast public relations blitz right now, so <laughs> on behalf of everyone here on Shame That Tune, thank you so much for taking the time out of your world and schedule to be here. Thank you. Uh, how, do you, how do you maintain such a demanding schedule? You must be running on nothing but five-hour energy pills by this point. I have no social life whatsoever, um, pretty much, so I just do shows, and then I stay at home with my two chihuahuas, and that's about it. I, I, that's, I, I live the life of a writer. That's pretty much how I see it. <laughs> this audience feels so sorry for you. Right? I know. Oh, man. I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> and see, now I'm apologizing, but I'm pathetic. <laughs> performance at the hideout one day, uh, performance at the hideout the next. It must be tough keeping it all straight. You know, so. It is. My schedule is hard to remember that I have to always be at the hideout. <laughs> No better place to be. Yeah. Applause. It's here. The big C. <laughs> no, not the disease, but the girl. Candace. Now, Keith, did you have other nicknames for the girls in your class along the order of Typhoid Mary, <laughs> Smallpox Sally, Tammy the Leper? <laughs> I can't recall if I actually, I, w there were other nicknames involved in this whole scenario. There were other characters that we we gave nicknames to. Um, Casanova was someone in this whole play. Uh, I can't recall, but there were certainly, nicknames were definitely divvied out, for sure. So there was a Tammy the Leper, because there was, there's one in every school. We all know it. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's Definitely's Tammy the Leper, we all know it's like, you know. <laughs> uh, but Candace was the unreachable star, the, <laughs> But what about poor Wendy, who wasn't quite so celestial? What became of her as the sky turned dark? <laughs> she and I had a falling out um, after, like, the farthest I was able to get with her was, like, touching her, like, over her shirt, in, like, in the park next to, like, parked in my 89 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra yeah. in the park, <laughs> totally, uh, <laughs> in the park next to my high school, and, like, it just never went anywhere after that, so we broke up, and then she just, I think she was single the rest of high school, I don't know. Was, I'm sure she's very happy now, I, maybe she's dead, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she's happy now. Maybe she's not. <laughs> Keith, reading and hearing this letter now, what do you find the funniest or perhaps the most ridiculous, knowing what you know now, looking back on that time of your life? That I... I there's so much. Um, <laughs> that I, I so desperately wanted to be liked by a girl, despite the fact that at this point, like, the there's... I mean, I'm basically married to a man, and I have no desire to be romantically liked by a woman at all anymore. So I have no clue what I was thinking at that age. I guess I just wanted, I, I desperately wanted a beard to, uh, <laughs> to mask the reality. Big C, sometimes when we touch. Um. <laughs> Well, you're doing a lot, and that's that's great. Uh, uh, you get you get up to get all these things around town. You co-host Guts and Glory with uh, Samantha Irby, who's on our show before. Uh, tell everybody about the show, where uh, where uh, they can check it out, and uh, when it's happening again. Yeah, it's at uh, Powell's Bookstore over on Lincoln Avenue in Lincoln Park uh, every third Wednesday of the month. So it's going to be this Wednesday, this uh, no, the twentieth. 
uh, this month. So yeah, we have okay. a good line. Uh, Ian Belknap's going to be there. He's done your show before. He's, yes, so. he's done the show too. He's, yep. Everybody makes the circuit to where one stop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this, this large town. Letterman, Merv Griffin, got some glory shame that too. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, Keith, thank you so much for being on the show. It's really nice to meet you. And, uh,